Thank you. I did identify everybody to the stage, didn't I? Thank you. Well, good morning and welcome. I am Kim Reynolds. I am with Publix and I am our media and community relations manager. We're so delighted that you took time out of your busy day today. Um, you hear a lot of hustle and bustle. You're truly getting the sneak peek. We are still getting ready for tomorrow morning for our opening at 7 a.m. Um, one of the things we'll talk about is that quality. You'll see we're still getting product on the shelves. So, um, Please don't let that deter you. I think it's going to be a great day. You're in for a real treat. I hope you're hungry, because we're going to have lots of samples. Um, but really, just long anticipated, here we are. I mean, how exciting is this? Our first store in Fayetteville, our first store in Cumberland County, really our first Publix in this region. We're so excited to continue our growth across the state, round out our growth in this wonderful community. Um, it is an honor and a privilege to serve this community and to now be a part of this community. Our associates, our managers all live here in town and you'll hear a little bit more about that as well. Um, to kick us off, and before I, I do a few more remarks, I did wanna make some special introductions. So first I wanted to introduce our Publix management team who will also serve as our tour guides today. Um, so your store manager here at your Fayetteville Publix, Brett Bennett. Thank you, Brett. Your assistant store manager, Michael Timms. Your customer service manager, Kyle Peterson. And your grocery manager, Randy Vickery. And we're so honored that we have quite a few um, elected officials with us today. So I'd like to introduce Senator Wesley Meredith, North Carolina General Assembly. I'm not sure if the Senator's made it yet, but Cumberland County Commissioners. We have Commissioner Michael Boos, Commissioner Marshall Faircloth, Commissioner Jimmy Keith, and Commissioner Larry Lancaster. So thank you all. Oh, who did I miss? I'm sorry. Oh, Chairman Glenn Adams. How could I forget the chair? I'm sorry. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, we have our, uh, did, did the mayor make it? I'm not sure if our mayor made it yet, but the City of Fayetteville Council members, we have Bobby Hurst, uh, Council Member James William Arts Jr., and Council Member Tyrone Williams. Oh, and I did Council Member Larry Wright. I made a job fired. <laughs> Thank you. The support is wonderful. Thank you all so much for coming out. Uh, we have Fayetteville Police Department Captain Jesse Devaney. Thank you so much. Uh, our Fayetteville Fire Marshal Martin Michael. Our Fayetteville City Manager Doug Hewitt. Uh, we have, Rob, for, I hope I say this correctly, forgive me, Robert Mangos, President and CEO of Fayetteville Cumberland County Economic Development. From our Cumberland County Board of Education, we have school board members, our chair, Greg West. Uh, school board member, is it Alicia or Alicia Chisel? No, okay. Uh, school board member, Peggy Hall. School board member, Portia McMillan, and school board member, Carrie Sutton. And then we have uh, with us, Renarda Moy, on behalf of Cumberland County Schools and Term Superintendent, Tim Kim Hall. Thank you so much. We truly really appreciate y'all being here. So, how many of you have been in a public supermarket before? Excellent, okay. Wow, that's wonderful. Um, you may not know, though, that public is 87 years young. So this year we are celebrating 87 years in business. Um, I'd like to just share a little bit of background, a few statistics. So, $34 billion in sales in 2016. This public, this store opening will mark 1,160 stores for publics across the Southeast. 188,000 associates, and if you didn't know, we are the largest employee-owned company in the nation. And yes, and I really like to talk about that because our associates are company owners, and our founder George Jenkins, founded in Winter Haven, Florida, 87 years ago, he saw the value and took the time to invest in his associates, knowing that by taking care of them and investing in them, they would invest in their customers, take care of their customers, and invest in their community. And so that philosophy of taking care of each other, our associates, our customers, and our community really lends itself to our success today. And when we talk about, you have a lot of grocery options, right? 
So what Publix really sets ourselves apart with and hangs our hat on is providing that premier customer service. So the associates that you meet today have been working so hard and training so hard and just really learning how to treat our customers like kings and queens, which is what our founder would say. So things like complimentary carryouts um, to your car or things like walking you to an item down the aisle. How frustrating to say it's aisle five and then you gotta find it when you get to aisle five, right? So we wanna make sure we're walking you to it. Um, it's really becoming an extension of your family, getting to know you and what you want as our customer and having you know that in stock conditions clean stores, quality products. So as you're taking the tour today, make sure that you're really seeing, or we hope that you're seeing that, those are some of the things that our, our associates are going to be talking about. And that's really what sets us, our, sets us apart. It's our associates, it's the fact that we're employee owned, and that we're really just committed to investing in our customers. Um, I also wanted to share that when we talk about jobs, so Publix here um, in Fayetteville, you know, when Publix comes to town, we talk about how we revitalize shopping centers, um, but also how we employ, at this location specifically, 175 associates. Aside from management, because we have a promote from within culture, 130, 40 of those associates are truly local hires. And they're not just jobs, they're secure jobs. Um, in Publix's 87 year history, we've never had a layoff. And they're really careers. Um, so I know you can really make a wonderful career. I have 10 years with Publix. Um, Brett, how many years of service do you have with Publix? 14 and a half. 14 and a half. Um, we have associates in the room today with 40 years of service with Publix. So it's really, truly a wonderful career. Um, the other thing I like to talk about, and I won't take too much more of your time, is Publix's commitment to the community. And so another thing, that another philosophy that our founder really instilled in us and that exists today is our commitment to supporting the community, specifically youth, education, hunger, and homelessness. In fact, it's part of our mission statement to be involved as responsible citizens in the community. And it's not just about writing the check, it's also about that sweat equity and our associates getting out in the community and giving back, whether it's you know, building a home for Habitat for Humanity. And so today we wanted to take this opportunity to really recognize our local heroes in the community, those are our principals and our educators, and present checks to local schools. Um, Publix to date, so since 1994, has given away $34.6 million to local schools across the Southeast as part of our Publix Partners Program. Thank you. And that program is an opportunity for schools to sign up with Publix and where a portion of your purchases go back towards the school. Um, so to commemorate our opening, to celebrate that program now here available in Fayetteville, we wanted to take this opportunity to recognize 11 of our local schools that were within a two mile radius of the store. So I'm going to invite uh, Brett and Mike to the stage to help me. Make sure you see Mike, he'll have the real check that you can cash. Okay. <laughs> but Brett is important, you have the fake check, uh, the mock check. When I call your name, if you come to the stage and receive the check, and then we'll just gather, stay in the front, we'll gather and take a big group photo. Uh, so let me step to the side. From Ashley Elementary School, Principal Tiffany Fogelquist. Oh, come on in, yes. <laughs> yep, that's perfect, that's perfect. Um, from Douglas Bird High School, Principal Dr. Zoletta Taylor. I think I need to give this room some cake. <laughs> Where's the energy? <laughs> and I'll tell you, um, actually, our Douglas Bird, uh, Douglas Bird High School drumline and JROTC will be here tomorrow morning, bright and early, to help us celebrate our grand opening and Veterans Day. And so we appreciate them coming out on Saturday. <laughs> uh, Fayetteville Christian School, we have Principal Lori Ake and School Admissions Administrator Don Pauley. From Glendale Acres Elementary Principal, Dr. Julie Dees. I like it, thank you. <laughs> From Guy School Inc. Executive Director, Jean Guy. <laughs> From Ireland Drive Middle School Principal, Christina DiGaudio. Um, we have Max Abbott Middle School Principal Carla Crenshaw. 
St. Patrick Catholic School Principal Laura Abowd. Uh, from Terry Sanford High, Principal Thomas Hatch. And Terry Sanford High School is helping us with parking tomorrow, I believe, so thank you. <laughs> That's important. And from WH Owen Elementary School, Principal Gamet McEcker. I hope I said that. No? Okay. So we'll just hold that one. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. Well, if you just want to hold that one, and we'll just do a big group photo. I don't know, let's see, do we have to get some of us? I'm sorry, did that? Oh, okay. Oh, awesome. Did I miss them? Douglas Bird Middle School, Principal Mishonda Williams. Sorry about that. Thank you. I think if half the group can come on the stage and the other half stay in front, we should be able to get a good photo. <coughs> and I know Mayor Robinson is here, and if any of our elected officials wanted to join in this picture, please feel free, we'd love that. So please go ahead.
This is a bakery that um, right to your right when you walk in the store. I don't think we can shop today.
Some stuff I can't recall seeing in other grocery stores. Mexican and then authentic Mexican.
The grand opening is tomorrow at 7 a.m. Seven o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow. Um, as you can tell, we have our buy one get one free sales. Oh, aisle morning. Pretty big store. Can I 
ice cream. I can tell the prices look comparable to Harris Teeter. That's pretty cool. It tells you how they're but expecting different types of beer. I don't know, but they probably will tomorrow. It looked like a pretty big wine section. Um, I'm probably going to head back over that way after I finish the rest of the store because there's so much over in wine and deli and um, bakery. It's our reporter Michael Futch and photographer Andrew Crabb hanging out by the cat litter. refrigerated dog food. Yeah, plenty of news, but people are pretty excited about the Publix. The grand opening is at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Alright, probably the least interesting aisle in the store.
we're on the back wall of the store right now. Okay, yes. Interesting. Smells really good on this aisle. There's, there are 14 aisles. Seven AM. It's a big store. It's in Tallywood Shopping Center on Rayford Road. This is the last dial, aisle 14.
Yes, I'm going to head back over to the bakery in a minute. <laughs> 7 a.m. Going back to the bakery and the deli. And produce, I don't think we've looked around produce yet.
Sorry about that. We walk through produce. Everybody, that's it. Thanks for joining us.